Hello, mateys. We've come all the way to Honduras, to this very strange land in Central America. We're on the hunt for a very strange breed of animal. Now, we certainly have seen a number of animals that we don't see in the low country, or in the uh, down under country. But it's, there's a strange breed they told us that's now just happened to migrate into this area. They don't come that often, but when they come, they make the strangest noises. And we're on the hunt for that kind of animal today. Now, certainly there are a lot of indigenous animals to the area. And we have come across many of those. But it's the one that they don't normally have here. That's very far into this country at all. And it is called the Great American Snora. Now, we've been looking for this Snora all over the place in Honduras. We first heard there was a little trail of them in Tegucigalpa. And then they headed up the highway. So we've been tracking this highway for days, looking for the snore. Now, we're not quite sure of their habits each day, but they do very strange things. Things they, no one else here does. For instance, after their evening meal, they seem to break up into three groups and do strange things. For instance, one of these groups seem to gather around in a circle and move these little wood blocks around on a table. Now these little wood blocks, they have dots on them and they seem to have some significance, of great significance. We've not been able to get any logical sequence to them. And th then there's another group and, and, and they seem to gather and they pass around like an electronic orb. And, and it says things to them and they start shouting at each other. And then this goes on for a minute or two and then they all laugh in great glee. And, and then they pass the orb to the next person. And that person seems to say things and they all seem to laugh again. It makes no sense, matey. And then there's another group all together. And this group seems to do little of nothing. They, they just sit there and read and talk and they make no noise. We don't understand the variants of this species, but we're going to get to the bottom of it. All right, Mateys, we've had some reports. We do have, we've been told that there are a few of them at a place called the Rancho Paraiso. So we're here at the Rancho Paraiso, and we're going to try to see if we can find some of these snoras. We're here now at what they call the dormitorio, and we're told there is a bunch of snoras here. Now, we're not quite sure, but one of the strange things we've observed is that at night, they seem, unlike other species, these divide up into female of the species go in some dormitories, and the males of the species go into other dormitories. We don't see this in nature any other place. They seem to be inside these metal cages. And today we're going to see if we can find some. Come with us now as we go into this den of the great American Snora. Okay, we must be very quiet as we go into the female den of the Snora. Oh, 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 look, there's one now. Be quiet, mateys. Don't wake them. Please. Oh, here is... Another one, another female of the species. Some sleep face up and some face down. It's amazing we're getting to see this. Okay, now, mateys, we're going into the male dormitory, the din of the great large American snore. Oh, we're so lucky today. Oh. Look, there's one now. Oh, and we have another one here. It's amazing. Let's go outside while we can. Let's 
Pirates, we were amazing how we got away with that. We better tip... Oh! oh there's one right behind us now, in the hammock. Oh, oh, oh there's one in the rocking me. Oh, rocking chair. Oh, so oh it comes one. Oh. Amazing sound. We better not wake him, though. Oh! 